Ladies and gentlemen, please return your seats to their upright positions and fasten your seatbelts, because here's your host, Dante Shepard! Hey, thank you guys. Thank you guys. How's everybody doing today? You guys good? All right. Welcome to Bridgeway Community Church. My name is Dante Shepard. I'm so glad to be here with you this morning. Hey, Derek, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. Good to see you. You good? Yeah. Back there with the guitar, trying to look cool? Yeah, trying to. All right, cool, man. Hey, uh, if you're joining us online, hey, guys, welcome. Glad you are uh, watching, tuning in. We're very excited today here at Bridgeway because senior pastor Dr. David Anderson is back in the house starting a new series. Woo! That's right. The name of the series is called Standing with Jesus. So if you'd like to stand with Jesus, come every week. All right. Now, uh, women's ministry uh, is going to be starting a new Bible study on January 9th. And it's going to be uh, based off of the book Forgotten God by Francis Chan. So, uh, Derek, do you like Francis Chan? Yeah, Francis Chan is good, man. Good He's a pretty good author. You like to read, Derek? Not really. All right. <laughs> In the world of news, this week marks the 23rd anniversary of the text message. Get that. Or as my friend texted me, today is the 23rd anvil ursary of the first Texas massage. <laughs> Autocorrect, man. Autocorrect will get you every time. Now, uh, if you are 30 and over and single, The Mix is hosting a black and red gala uh, coming up on December 12th. The cost right now is $28. It's the early bird rate. That's going to go up after December 9th, so make sure you get in early. Derek, I hear it's going to be pretty live. Yeah, it should be. There's going to be a DJ. There's going to be uh, some food catered by Cheesecake Factory. Mm. So you can't really go wrong. Nah. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so, yeah, if you'd like to uh, uh, get more information, you can do that uh, out in the lobby. And, uh, ladies, just so that you know, no, it is not free before t 10 o'clock. So there you go. <laughs> Fast food fans out there, McDonald's is trying out a new service at some California locations where, get this, employees will serve customers at their tables. That's right. They're calling the service Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's gets so much hate. I don't know why people hate Applebee's so much. It's sad. I used to work at Applebee's. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Nice. It's a long time ago, Derek. All right, um, our Missions Cafe out in the lobby, you guys know the Missions Cafe. Each month, uh, the proceeds that we raise there at the Missions Cafe goes to uh, various ministries throughout the church. Uh, this month, actually, we're gonna, the cafe is going to be focusing on the issue of homelessness in Howard County, so they're going to be benefiting a couple of organizations. And actually, what we're doing really cool is they're, they're going to be selling these, these, these uh, baskets out at the Missions Cafe. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. You can buy a nice gift for somebody that's got some coffee and a mug and some chocolates and ornaments in there. Um, and uh, it'll go to uh, one of these organizations that uh, benefit our homeless uh, people out there. So, yeah, you can do that uh, out at the Missions Cafe if you'd like. All right. Um, also, uh, Derek. Yes. Dude, Christmas season is upon us. How's it going for I you? I love Christmas, man. Me it's too. good. It's good. Got some shopping knocked out. Uh, Going to have some family over. So okay, it's good nice. Stuff. Good. Yeah, the it, only problem is that, like, there's, you know, some tension in the house, you know, trying to figure out what to do about that. So. Why? Are you doing a party? Well, you know, some of them don't really, like, not all about the alcohol things. They're trying to figure oh, out how to make that work for some. And yeah. Well, so. actually, I, I've heard this. this might, they may be into this. Uh, experts out in Israel are actually trying to find a way to produce the same wine that was actually used in the time of Jesus. Oh, that could be actually pretty helpful. Do you have any progress on that? Yeah, actually, they made a pretty big breakthrough. Uh, it turns out all you really need is water and Jesus. <laughs> Should have known. All right, guys, let's keep moving. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Angels for Kids, you guys that took those, those uh, little uh, tags, the gifts are actually due today. So if you, if you took one of those tags and uh, went out and bought a gift, those gifts are due today. So please, uh, you can turn those gifts into the table out in the lobby for Angels for Kids. If, please don't forget the gifts. If you forget the gifts, God will forget your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. <laughs> it's, just, it's true. It's true. It's true. In some sports news, Lakers legend Kobe Bryant announced this week that he'll retire at the end of the season. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, you can give Kobe a round of applause. You're from California, aren't you? I know you. 
So uh, Kobe will retire at the end of the season, but meanwhile, the rest of the Lakers uh, announced that they actually quit playing a month ago. So. <laughs> Ooh, burn! Got him. Was you it? were late on that one, Will. That wasn't even so a joke, you know. though. <laughs> was that even a joke? That was like half serious. I, it's kind of, yeah, it's just true sadness. Um, <laughs> so we're very excited here at Bridgeway because this is actually uh, another year where we're hosting a cold weather shelter. And so that's going to be taking place from December 7th to the 14th. And that baby's really excited about it. Um, if you are uh, looking for a place to serve this holiday season, these guys need a lot of help with setup, teardown, uh, serving and providing meals, and just doing different activities with, with the people that we'll be hosting. So uh, if you're looking into getting involved in, uh, in an area of serving, uh, you can get more information out in the lobby for that. All right. Now, Derek, we're about a week and a half out from the Thanksgiving festivities. Yeah, and yeah. Everything, everything's kind of calming down a little bit. Uh, did you... Do any Black Friday shopping? Yeah, budget? the shopping I did was all on Black Friday. I'm still a little bit Oh, okay. Behind, so. nice. You know, I, I don't think people who participate in Black Friday are, like, are there for the bargains. I think it seems like they go out for a socially acceptable excuse to punch a stranger in the face. That's what it's it always seems awkward like. when you, like, come home and there's blood on your brand new TV. Yeah. Like, you can explain what that is. See, now, me personally, I was more excited about Cyber Monday. I mean, I slept in a tent outside of my computer for a whole week. <laughs> it's not how it works. That's how that worked. It's always weird when, you're, when your wife sends you soup with a note attached to it. <laughs> Mama needs new shoes. All right. All right, guys. Well, we're going to enter into our uh, time of offering now where those of us that call Bridgeway home, this is a chance for us to just give back a small portion of what God has so graciously best blessed us with. Um, if you are a guest here, don't, please, let's not make this weird. Don't, be obliga don't feel obligated to give. Uh, if you'd like to give, you're certainly more than welcome to. We don't want to block your blessing there, but um, this is for those of us that call Bridgeway home. And if you are new to the whole giving and tithing and offering thing, uh, please know that, no, you cannot reach into the offering bag to make change, all right? So <laughs> let's pray. God, thank you so much for uh, this day. Thank you for um, the freedom to be in this place and, and, and praise and worship you. I just thank you so much for, um, for these people here. I pray for uh, those watching online as well as those in the house that you would uh, continue your work in their hearts that you've started. And uh, I pray for this offering, God, that you'd bless the giver and that you would uh, bless our leaders and elders, that they would steward our resources well. And we thank you so much. Pray for the rest of our service. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys, and once again, we 